Welcome to Pre-Snap Podcast, presented by Line Star App. Here's your host, Casey Bubba and Scott Bogman. And welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Pre-Snap Podcast, brought to you by the wonderful people at Line Star Sports. Make sure you check them out on Twitter at Line Star App and at Line Star NFL. And more importantly, download the app in the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. Everything you need in the palm of your hands to build your winning DFS lineups. We're not talking DFS tonight. We're talking betting and picks and all that fun stuff and things that comes with the NFL week and week action. You can check out Bogman on Twitter at Bogman Sports. And I am on Twitter at BDN Trick. Bogs, how are we doing? I'm doing great, man. Uh, you know, trying to get past my Longhorns losing on Saturday and uh, move forward. Steelers won on Sunday, so that's much better. And we both did better in our picks this week, so that was nice. Yeah, picks were much better, as you mentioned. We might as well give a quick recap, real quick. Uh, Boggs went eight, eight and one against the spread. I went ten, six and one. Boggs went nine and eight over under. I went six and eleven. So all that fun stuff and things going on right there. And we have reached the bye weeks, Bogman. So yeah, we only have we only have fourteen games this week. That includes a game in London with the the mighty mighty Dolphins and the Jags. Oh, fun! But um, <laughs> the off week, the mighty mighty, yeah. You got that. The bye week teams are the Falcons, the Saints, the Jets, and the Niners. So keep that in mind as you're doing your fantasy stuff throughout the week. And that means we have like a 10 game slate to talk about for Friday's show, which will uh, be a big change of pace as well. But Bogman, let's just get crack a lacking on this 14 game slate. We'll start with Thursday night football Tampa Bay Bucks at the Philadelphia Eagles. Tampa Bay minus six and a half road favorites over under 52 and a half. Tom Brady slinging it everywhere. Jalen Hurts has been pretty darn good. One of the best fantasy scoring quarterbacks in football. Something's got to get, Boggs. Yeah, uh, I don't particularly care for this game, to be quite honest with you. Um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take Philly as the the road team. Uh, the offense has looked better. Uh, it's a short week for everyone. No Gronk, obviously, for Tampa Bay. That secondary just has been getting torched and they're down Levante David or not. Yeah. Levante David, Antoine Winfield as well. Uh, JPP is questionable here. I just don't think that the defense is playing up to what they were in the beginning of the year. Not necessarily their fault. I don't think it's a skill thing. I just think they've got guys that are down right now for Tampa Bay. So I'm going to take Philly at home. Plus the points. I hate it over under probably I hate even more. Uh, I'll go with the over. Just because, like I said, Tampa Bay is a little down on defense. So I'll go Philly and the over here. Yeah, I'm definitely taking the over. Thursday night football with these two teams. Tampa Bay, like you said, is getting torched in the secondary. Uh, I saw they're giving out the most points to uh, opposing wide receivers on the outside and like third most in the slot because also teams are throwing all the time because they have to. That's part of the problem. But uh, they're getting torched, as you mentioned. It's a tough one. I'm with you. It's tough. I'm going to go Tampa Bay. Just because I think Brady's going to do Brady things and throw for four plus touchdowns again, but it's not a comfortable one. I'm much, I'm much more like the over than the spread on this one. Again, like we we said before, we pick every game does not mean we would put money on every game. Right, so keep right. that in mind when we're doing this. Um, I would not put a money on a spread at all on this one. Let's go to London, jolly old London, Miami Dolphins, Jacksonville Jaguars, Miami minus three point favorites, over under forty seven. Tua depends on which report you read. Might be playing, might not be playing. It's it's so fun. I think he's going to play, but we shall see. I, I just, I don't know. I don't know if it matters to me if he plays or not. You know, I think that I'm going to just take Miami uh, regardless. The um, I just don't have any trust in Jacksonville. And look, this is a game that should set up for Jacksonville. It really should. You know, they, they're used to going to London. They've done this trip before. I know Miami has before, but not recently and not at the same clip that Jacksonville goes. Um, but it's a whole new coaching staff going. It's not like these guys have worked through it before a new quarterback. It's Trevor Lawrence's first time. He's already been struggling anyway. So I don't really think I care if it's Brissett or Tua. I think I'm going to take the dolphins anyway, and I'm going to go with the under on this game because I hate both the offenses. So dolphins and the under for me. Yeah, I'm taking the Dolphins as well. I think they are a much better coached team, which will help them go to London. 
just that's the easiest way I could say it. Maybe it makes no sense to anybody, but it's kind of like what you're saying. A whole coaching staff for the Jags that A is a joke, and B, <laughs> like, how are they going to, you know, handle this whole London shift? At least, you know, Flores and company can stay disciplined. We got that going for them. So I'll take Miami, but I'm going to take the over. I think there's uh, some points to be at here. Miles Gaskin goes crazy. James Robinson goes crazy. Give me Miami. Give me the over. Little uh, morning fish and chip special in London. <laughs> Kansas City at Washington on this one. Kansas City minus seven over under 55 and a half. This has the makings of fireworks, Bogman. It it really does. And, you know, I don't have the, the public is taking the under on this game. And I I guess I understand that, but I don't care. I'm going over. Uh, Kansas City's defense has been bad. Daniel Sorensen has looked horrific back there. Obviously, they have good pieces. Uh, I know uh, NFL memes or somebody put Frank Clark on a milk carton this week. Where where the hell has he been? Uh, nowhere to be seen for that defense. And, you know, you lose Daryl, you lose uh, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, you go to Daryl Williams. To me, that just means Patrick Mahomes is going to be passing the ball more, specifically against this horrific secondary. It's been so bad for Washington. It, and I don't really understand how they went from a dominant defense last year to so damn bad this year so fast but it has happened there's no denying it so god i hate how many there are so many road favorites this week bubba it's unbelievable uh i'm gonna take another road favorite i'm gonna take kansas city here uh you know they need a win i, I don't know that you should bet for that but i do think that that puts a little pressure on them they need it a little bit more I can take Kansas City, and I'm going to go with the over here. It's a tricky one on paper. It should seem easy, Kansas City. Something about them, they've just been such a mess right now. It makes me think that back door is going to be open all day because Heineke is legit. They're giving up over 28 fantasy points to quarterbacks in like every game this year, and Heineke has been great. He's been a quarterback 12 on the season since he took over starting duties. I'm still going to take Kansas City. I'm with you on that one. I definitely like the over. It's a game I love the over in because neither team's going to play defense. I think it's the back and forth just mess. And uh, Kansas City, they win by at least 10. Let's put it that way. So Kansas City and the over. Green Bay heads into Chicago. Minus four and a half road favorites over under 44 and a half. Do they let Justin Fields actually do something this week, Bogman? No, no. And I don't know if it matters if he does. I, I'll tell you this. I'm going to take Green Bay. Not, not with a ton of confidence, but I love this over 44 and a half. I don't know, man. I think Green Bay can get the majority of that. 35-10 gets you there. So uh, I like Green Bay in this one. Um, I just don't like what they Chicago's been doing on offense in particular. At, at some point, you'd think they got to let him just roll out and throw it, you know, but it just hasn't been working so far for them. So give me Green Bay, and I'm going to take the over. That's just too low. And Chicago could trip into three touchdowns. I wouldn't be surprised. Well, you can throw on Green Bay. It's just a matter of where they let them. So that'll be that'll right. be interesting for sure. Because if they let them open it up, the over is a big, big play. I'm with you on that one. Green Bay is running like the slowest offense in football right now, which is uh, pretty scary. If they ever opened it up, what they could do there. I'm with you. Though. I'm going to go Green Bay in the over as well. I like, I like this one quite a bit. Green Bay needs to make a statement. People are thinking they're just like an overrated team again right now. I think this is one of those games where they kind of come out and uh, remind Chicago who's running the North. Green Bay, over. Houston at Indianapolis. Indianapolis coming off a devastating Monday night football loss to the Ravens. Our nine-and-a-half point home favorites to the Texans. Over under 43, Bogman. Where do you stand on this one? Well, look, I think this line is perfect. Uh, nine-and-a-half, I think it's absolutely perfect. But this has got to be, what do you believe? Do you believe that? Davis Mills magically figured out stuff and is going to be a guy that throws for 300 yards moving forward. Or was that a weird game against new England? Uh, and he's definitely not doing that on the road. And that's where I'm going to end up it is he's not going to do it on the road. So I'm going to take the Colts and I'm going to lay the points here. Over under is a little bit tricky. I'll, I, I think this is hedging, but I'm going to take the over uh just because just in case davis mills has figured it out and can score some points so give me the colts give me the over yeah that's a tricky one because the colts look darn good for like three quarters on monday night look like they like defense and everything and it just went away by no means is davis mills on the clear but uh they they disappeared in a big way i'm going indian this one i think they definitely get going another big um 
JT game. Uh, we might get T.Y. Hilton back this week, potentially. And uh, I think that offense, Andy Dalton's going to start getting more and more comfortable there. So give me Indianapolis. Give me the under in this one. I think uh, Houston goes back to old Houston ways in this game. Cincinnati at Detroit. Cincinnati minus three and a half on the road, like you said. Over under 47 and a half. Joe Burrow is not allowed to talk right now because of the contusion in his throat. They're trying to save his voice for Sunday, Bogman. Yeah, look, I mean, he might as well just uh, start uh, doing hand signals out there and learn some sign language. I don't think it's going to be very loud in Detroit after the couple losses that they've endured. Just tears, the last tons of tears. Couple weeks. I mean, it is just brutal. It's got to be the worst to be a Lions fan. Like I feel for Lions fans. I'm my old roommate. Huge Lions fan from Detroit, just lived lived with him during that 0-16 season. Like that's just rough stuff, man. Um, oh God. I hate taking the Bengals here, but I gotta do it. I'm gonna take Cincinnati. Um, I'm gonna take the under here. I just don't like what Detroit's been doing on offense. And when they are in games, they seem to stop the other team a little bit more. So give me Cincy and give me the under. Yep, we're on the same page here. Give me Cincy. I think they kind of have their way in this one. And give me the under. It feels like a you know 21-14, 21-17 type football game. So we're Cincy's in control the whole time, but uh, nothing ever really accumulates on the offensive side of things. Chargers at the Ravens. The Ravens have had one heck of a schedule. Let's put it that way. Baltimore minus three at home, over under 52. This has potential for another big, big game for the Chargers. Bogman, are you going with the road dogs or the home favorites? Oh God! Well, this this is such a fun game to watch. I'm I, if I get the Chargers and get points, I think I have to take it. So I'm going to take the Chargers, and we see, you know, Baltimore seems to let some teams get up a little bit and then try to play comeback. I don't know what that's all about, but I don't think you're going to be able to do that against the Chargers. The under over here is trickier. I, 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 my instinct is to take the over from what we saw last week, right? Baltimore come back and, um, put it on, uh, put it on the Colts. And we saw the chargers and Browns go just trade, you know, fists there. So, uh, uh, you know what? I mean, I am going to do it. I'm going to take the over. Uh, I just think this is like a 35, 31 game at the end of the day. So it goes over. So give me, uh, the chargers in the over. Smart man, Bogman, smart man. I'm going Chargers in the over as well. I'm a believer in this team. They are legit, and I do believe that they have holes in their defense also that Lamar and company can exploit from time to time, but uh, the Chargers have too much in that uh, ammo over there, and they'll take them down in Baltimore. Baltimore can't keep playing this close with some good teams like this. And they I almost, coming out on top. So, yeah. I almost think it's kind of better for the Ravens to have had this uh, running back weirdness because they, they are having to open up the offense yep. and they're having to let Lamar throw. And for all those people that think he can't throw, go back and watch a Monday night game. Tell me he can't Amazing. throw, right? I mean, Amazing. just give me a break. Dude, can was he like 37 of 43 or something like that? It was. Yeah. He had like six incompletions. We talked yeah. about it on, on uh, so the good. Tuesday show. So yeah, I mean, uh, dude is a stud and I think that offense is going to start humming and, you know, let's remember this dude had enormous numbers at Louisville and uh, won the Heisman. So uh, would not be surprised to see him start opening up in the NFL like that too. And you saw Njoku have a big game last week. What do you think Mark Andrews is going to do? Right. <laughs> it's it's going to be a thing of beauty, folks. Thing of beauty. Rams, Giants in New York. Rams minus nine and a half. Danny Dimes is not practicing as of this moment. Over under is 48 and a half. No holiday. Um, the rest of the guys are still questionable. It's still to be just absolutely horrific. Yeah. I mean, this is the Rams in the under for me. This is like a 28 3 something. Like, because if you're going to have giraffe neck back there, you have no Saquon, no Galladay. Like your top three options are back, uh, are, are out for the Giants, most likely. Um, and even if you get Danny Dimes, it's not going to be with a full week of practice. We know that. So uh, I'm going to take the Rams, and I'm going to take the under here. I'm going to take the Rams for sure. I'm 100% on board with that one. The over-under is a little trickier for me. I'm going to go under because you're going to think that the Giants aren't going to score much, but the Rams right. could put up 49 by themselves. So this that's that's the tough part here. I'll go Rams in the under just thinking they kind of just this this should be a big Henderson game. Henderson and Michelle might get a lot of run this game. So 
that might slow things down, run that clock. Minnesota at Carolina, we got uh, CMC practicing in full pads as of Wednesday. Minnesota minus one on the road, over under 46. Are you taking Carolina with CMC back in action? I despise this game. I don't want to mess with it at all, bub. I, I, I'm going to take the Vikings on the road um, just because I think Carolina's a little bit. I think we found out last week that they're a little bit overrated. They hardly and, thought they were. Right. And then, oh, uh, God, I'll go with the over because CMC is back and, uh, you know, Darnold can score a little bit and Minnesota isn't. They're not above letting uh, some points score here. So I'm going to take mini and the over. Yeah, it's a tricky one. I, I'm a big fan of Minnesota, Carolina. I think they're still a good football team, but we saw the holes there. CMC back could help a ton. Oh, that's a tricky one. I'm going to go with you. I'm going to go Minnesota in the over. I do think there will be a lot of offense in this game. I'm with you 100% yeah. there. I think Minnesota is the better team, and they finish it off in the end. But it's a tough one because it might be Madison time, which we've seen has been fine. But well, he's a little banged up, too, too, with the yeah. shoulder. And Cook banged up, so maybe they're going to need to pass this game. Maybe they'll, they'll realize Adam Thielen's on the team. So that could uh, be a thing well, to do. Fingers crossed, right? So. Yeah. Arizona at the Cleveland Browns, another potential, not Super Bowl, but like playoff feel game. Arizona goes undefeated into Cleveland, a good football team, cut off a tough loss to the Chargers. Cleveland minus three at home, over under 49 and a half, Bogman. I think my favorite play here is the under. Uh, just Cleveland's defense uh, has has been dominant. I know the Cardinals are undefeated and they're great, right? But I, I think that uh, Miles Garrett is going to have a pretty good time against this Cardinals offensive line, even though he's banged up. Uh, I'm I and Clowney's a little bit nicked up too. I don't care. I'm going to go with the under in this game. Uh, I think. I think I'm going to take Arizona because I just want to take the points in this game. Close game like this, I'm going to take the points. So give me the cards and give me the under. Yeah, I was going to save this stat for uh, the Friday show, but do you know who leads the league in defense allowing the most explosive run plays in football? The Arizona, Arizona Cardinals. Cardinals. Yeah. You know who has a really, really explosive running back or two <laughs> running backs? Cleveland Browns. Give me the Cleveland Browns minus three at home, given the Arizona Cardinals their first loss this season. Good football team. Two good teams meet up. Give me the over in this one, though. I think we got like a you know, 31-27 type feel to it here. Cleveland over. One of the better games of the week. Las Vegas Raiders at the Denver Broncos. Denver minus three and a half. Over under 44. This is an easy one for me, Bogman. Uh, all right. Well, let's hear it. Who are you going? Give me Denver and give me the under in this one. Just Denver, give me Denver and the, the under. under. This is going to be a, a horrible football game to watch. It's almost a horrible football game. The Raiders are lost. Denver is going to just do their thing. They're going to pick up a W. It's going to be horrible football. Yeah, I, uh, I don't like this game at all. Uh, I like the idea of Derek Carr running his own offense instead of listening to John Gruden, but I also don't like just the immediateness of him being gone and what that's going to do to the team. So I, I, I'm going to go with you. I'm going to go with Denver. I just think on 44, I think I got to take the over. So I'm going to take the over on 44. But, um, yeah, I'm going to go with the home team too. But there, I don't like either side of this game. This is, nope. I think I might hate this game more than I hate uh, the Minnesota the, game. Yeah, Minnesota game. I just, I don't want to, because I, I like the idea of Carr running his own offense. I really do. Uh, John, maybe uh, next John week. Gruden. I think shackled him, but I want to see it first, right, before I bet on them. So Denver at home. I just don't like what Denver's been doing. They just lost to a bad Pittsburgh team, too. But ugh, I'll, I guess I'll take them. Yeah, Teddy B back in uh, looking healthier, let's hope so. I thought that should help a little bit, too. And maybe Javante Williams week. Dallas at, at the New England Patriots. New England barely escaping Houston. Dallas minus 3.5, over under 51. What you got? I got Dallas in the over here. Um you know, we saw New England let uh, Davis Mills put up some yards against them. So what the hell is Dak and Zeke and C.D. Lamb and Amari Cooper and Dalton Schultz? What is that offense going to do against this New England D, right? And Belichick's thing is to stop your number one thing. You're, you're going to stop. You're going to stop Zeke. Do the do the Patriots have that in them? Um, I don't know if they do. So and even so. if they do, sure, stop that. 
Dak's going to, you know, be throwing dimes on you. So I got Dallas and I got the over in this one. I'll take the over as well. I think the question is which receiver does he take out of play? That's where they have a better chance. Like they took Godwin out for Tampa Bay. I think it's Zeke's going to run wild. Schultz, he does his thing. It just depends. Is it Cooper or Allen that gets shut down? Or Cooper or Land that gets shut down? That's the question. But give me Dallas. Give me the over. Bye-bye, New England. Bye-bye. Sunday night football. Bogman's looking forward to this game. Seattle at Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh minus five. Over under 42 and a half. Geno Smith under center for the Seahawks. Bogman. Got to be the Seahawks, right? Absolutely not. Uh, I'm going to go back and take my Pittsburgh Steelers. Um Look, I think they match up well against Seattle, specifically with Russell Wilson down because the line is bad in Seattle. It's bad in Pittsburgh, too, but their defensive line isn't good. So I think this is a, you know, uh, this is going to be one of the more disgusting close games you ever see. I think it could be like a 17 to 10 type of a game in Pittsburgh's favor, right? I think it's going to be low scoring and gross. Uh, with a lot of turnovers. So give me Pittsburgh and give me the under here. Pittsburgh's been the best team in football at uh, preventing big fantasy games for running backs. And uh, and Seattle already has Carson messed up. And, you know, they're going to have to rely on Geno, which is going to be so much fun. Uh, uh, give me – I don't know. That's a tough number. <laughs> it's hard to lay the points and take Give Pittsburgh. me Seattle plus five on – yeah, so just, give me the over. Just give me offense to keep it entertained. That's all I ask for. Seattle, I think Gina will be able to pass on this 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 Pittsburgh defense, but it's going to be an ugly football game. Seattle over. Don't bet this one. Monday night football, Buffalo at Tennessee. Buffalo minus five and a half, over under fifty four. Uh, if Ryan Tannehill would like to show up and actually play quarterback, that'd be awesome, Bogman. I'd really appreciate it. That would be great, but uh, I don't really care if Ryan Tannehill shows up. Buffalo looks unstoppable right now. Uh, you know, just went into Kansas City and smoked uh, the AFC champs. Um, you know, I just Josh Allen's playing on a different level. Tennessee's defense is bad. Uh, so I'm definitely taking Buffalo. The over under is a little more tricky for me. I think I'm going to roll with the under just because I'm, you know, you get Tennessee out of what they want to do. They want to run the ball with Derrick Henry. So if you can get them out of that and put pressure on them by scoring points, uh, you put them in a bad position and make Tannehill make some mistakes. And Greg Rousseau has been really good at uh, pressuring the quarterback this year. So give me Buffalo and give me the under. Yeah, it's an interesting one. Because if you think Buffalo rolls big, the over should be in play. because I still It's think definitely Tennessee- in play. I mean, that's yeah. for sure. I still think Tennessee gets theirs. And Julio's back at practice. So they should actually have a healthy receiving core for once. Give me Tennessee in this game and wow. give me the over. I think Tennessee okay. at home on Monday. A little letdown for Buffalo. Buffalo wins this game, but Tennessee covers in the over. That's where I'm going on this one. Should be. I, I hope it's as good as I think it is in my head. Let's put it that way. <laughs> All right, Bogman. Only 14 games this week. We're in. We're out. Uh, any like any favorite bets? Like, you, like what game do you want to see the most? Uh, what game do I want to see the most? I think the the uh, the Arizona and Cleveland game is going to be a really fun one. And the Chargers at Baltimore. I think those are for sure. easily the two best. Yeah, those are the two I'm looking for. Do you have any favorite bets this week? Um, I mean, I like uh, I like Dallas minus three and a half. I just think that's, uh, that's too little. Um, I like Green Bay on the road. Um, and I probably... I just I love the over in this Chargers Baltimore game. Yep. And I know that's way against the public. They are yep. hammering the under on that game because it seems impossible. But both these offenses are clicking right now. So yep. I think I'm going to roll with them. So I, I like the over in that game, too. Yeah, I'm with you. I love the Dallas spread. And then my favorite one pretty much is that over in the Chargers of Baltimore. I love the over in that game. So let's hope that one carries over for us. And I also like the over in the Minnesota Carolina game. Big fan of that. Yeah. One. I, I think there's some serious offense there as well. So we'll see how all that plays out. We hope you guys have a great week of picks and bets. If you like some DFS action, make sure you check out the pre snap show on Friday. Make sure you have a rate and review on iTunes. We truly would appreciate it. Or check out the Lion Star YouTube page where you can watch our pretty faces break down all of the NFL action for you three times a week. Check out Lion Star on Twitter at Lion Star app and at Lion Star NFL. Download the app in the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store.
or become a premium member, you will not regret it one bit. But that'll do it this week on the Picks and Bets show. Check out Bogman on Twitter at Bogman Sports. I am Matt Pediatric. We'll catch you guys next time. See ya. Thanks for listening to Pre-Snap Podcast, presented by Line Star App. Please like, comment, subscribe, and rate for good karma in 